Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, reading more of the My Hero Academia manga. This is chapter 415. It is 1.40 in the morning. My sanity clearly is not with me. Um, <laughs> um, no, but I was laying in bed and like, I, I'm up later than normal tonight. It's one of my nights off. And uh, I get the notification from a buddy like, hey, the chapter's out. And I'm like... And then I, I was like, you know what? It's it's too late in the morning. Or too early, too early in the morning. I'll go back to sleep. And I try to go to sleep and I think to myself, wait a second. We just left off with Deku and Shigaraki getting teleported to the UA Sports Festival. And I have the chance to see what happens next? Nah. Nope. We're going to, we're going to go read it. So, uh, yeah. Pardon me if I sound disheveled or... Uh, you know, out of it, but the eagerness, the optimism, the excitement is all genuine, baby. No lack of sleep can de deprive of that. Um, but I am, I am okay. Uh, jokes aside, I am actually very excited to read this chapter. As I said last, we left off. <sighs> Deku giving away his quirks to damage Shigaraki to reach his core. And we're now in the moment of their melding of memories. Like, hello. That is so cool. There's so much potential. Uh, I didn't post any predictions this week. Uh, but if I if I had any hopes, uh, I've said this before. And I'll say it again. And I know this is very unpopular. I want... Well, there's a few things that I think will happen. I think Deku will see shigaraki's upbringing of sorts uh maybe not like a full-blown explanation but he'll get the gist of it um and i'm hoping and i, I got backflash from this on on backlash on this on on twitter uh i'm hoping that it confirms that all for one gave shigaraki decay and very briefly i'll just say it makes sense for so many reasons uh shigaraki was at the or tenko was at the age that like when you reach that age and you don't have a quirk develop you're you're kind of it's not going to happen this is the same thing happened to deku like i think ages one to four is when your quirk is supposed to appear and i think tenko was five um and it explains the like reaction like his his he all out of the blue all of a sudden he got like scratchy eyes and stuff and i just think that if they're going to horkosh is gonna show it this is the perfect time uh and Maybe Shigaraki can see some of Deku's memories and like, maybe I'm not saying it'll like change Shigaraki's mindset or anything, but it'll at least kind of like fill in some information on Deku for him, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any outlandish, crazy predictions. I'm just excited to see what happens. Uh, this chapter's titled Rejection. Okay, let us begin. Whoa. Okay. All right. First off, first panel. Okay. So we're getting, this looks like Sue and Mineta at the USJ when they're uh, like, they're diving off the boat and like he's throwing his hair into the water and Deku made the whirlpool. Uh, that's, uh, dude, we're going to see Horikoshi redraw like old scenes. Uh, that gets me, man. That gets me. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to tear up or anything, but like it just, I love, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a weak person for nostalgia. You show me a little nostalgia, a little flashback to the old days of anything. It gets me. I don't know. Uh, so that's the, that we see Deku and whoa, we're like, so we see them, those two as like giant apparitions of memory, but in the, we're going through like a tunnel and it's like the, uh, decay slash all for one kind of like lines you know the trademark lines that are lining this tunnel and you have deku charging at shigaraki people are popping out of nowhere these are dot 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 uh <laughs> get it popping out of nowhere pop 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 off <laughs> maybe it's not intentional but i i find that humorous um okay that's the first page chapter 415 rejection what could rejection mean? Uh, maybe Shigaraki will reject uh, the quirk. Like he'll spit him back out. I don't know. Okay, we're cutting to the vestiges. 
by the way, again, sorry if I, you know, there's a lot, be a lot of names and characters and stuff. If I like say someone's name wrong or something, it's, it's very late at night or early in the morning. So, uh, but I'm genuinely excited. So let's go for it. Uh, we have Yoichi and the other vestiges. Their memories are blending together. Is this accelerated response due to one for all resonating with my brother's quirk factor? Uh, okay. How? How is it that I can see them now? Oh, that explains why before, like, Shigaraki was even wondering, like, how come I can see the ghosts now? Like, that was that was new. And it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm glad this kind of explains that. Like, just them... I don't know if it's them clashing that's making this happen, or if it's just their, like distance to each other it's very interesting um a lot of potential like possibilities here sorry i'm just checking the recording make sure we're good yeah we're good okay um and by transferring the second we've reached a critical point okay we're getting more yochi my brother wished for a strong heart so he could steal one for all but no matter how powerful he got the one true heart was here all along the ultimate villain whose spirit is solidified hatred and malice we need to stop his evil acts that's what we've done from the start oh that's so cool whoa they're like is he sending whoa is he sending all of them at once they're not doing the one at a time thing anymore because Deku's got all of them in his arm now We've been we've been passed on from generation to generation for for the sake of this moment, and you have all of them. Uh, even even uh, Toshi's uh, vestige, um, man, they're they're like they're like speeding like a bullet, like combined like that. That's oh my! Wait, whoa, hold up! If they all transfer right now, Deku will be quirkless, unless unless the theory is unless Yoichi can separate his naturally born quirk with the one that all for one gave him which is the stockpile quirk uh because right now the theory is that if deku does lose all these quirks forever that he'll in some way maintain the stockpile which is just like the pure strength um not a bad theory i i don't have anything wrong with that uh it'd basically make him like all might all might didn't have any uh, black whip or danger sense or anything like that he just had pure strength so that's still a great thing to have you could do a lot with it um yeah they're all building up in his arm and oh my oh <laughs> okay all right <laughs> i can't believe it the usj nomu I had long since, I can't believe we're getting him. I had long, for those of you who've been watching my reactions for a long time, uh, ever since Dark Deku arc and like into the, even in like to the beginning of the second war, I, I was really wanting Deku to like fight the USJ Nomu. It'd be such a great, like, like showing where he was to where he is now. And then he never appeared. He was never at any battlefield. He never escaped from any prison. Uh, I just never showed him again. Um, and I was like, I just kind of like discarded it. I was like, ah, we're too late into the war. It's, it's not going to happen, but we're seeing him. It's in a flashback in a memory, a dream or whatever, but we're seeing him and he looks, dude, this is like a distorted and we're seeing OG Shigaraki with the hands and all oh, dude. Oh, wow. This is the scene. Is this the scene where he, yeah, this is the scene where they're in the water and, and Shigaraki is like about to, about to melt her face off and he doesn't. And he looks over, you really are pretty cool, eraser head. And then like, you see Aizawa just all bloodied and shit with the Nomu, like bashing his head in. Like, but he still like erased his quirk. Oh, that was a great scene. And I think they're doing it right here. <laughs> oh, good job. You two. Oh, and it's even like playing the, like. The, the voices, the, like, kind of, like, distorted voices of him to wound his pride. Oh, my God. Fuck, yeah. USJ callbacks, baby. Uh, the, and by the way, I'm bearing the lead here. 
the Nomu that I'm uh, I'm alluding to, he's taking up like half the half the panel, and he's just like, like on the camera, <laughs> like <laughs> you know, he sounds kind of like a demented bird, like the the way he sounds. Like I just, God, I can't wait for this scene. Just hearing him be like, like. <laughs> That was my that was my pronunciation of uh, USJ Nomu. It's pretty great, I know. Um, that's great. I'm sorry. I'm I'm part delusional. It's it's almost two in the morning. <sighs> okay. Um, we're getting Deku, and and this is amongst Deku still flying at Shigaraki, about to unleash this punch uh, with all the vestiges in it. Oh, it's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so fucking good. Right below it. I didn't even, like, it's the same page. I just didn't, like, scroll down. It's redrawn, too. Damn it. I, I'm loving in this final arc. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I'm loving in this final arc that Horikoshi is taking every single opportunity he can to redraw, like, classic old scenes. Just, but like, in modern style. I just love, it's like a flex. It's like a really cool flex. He's just like... Yeah, I'm pretty proud of like the stuff I did. I know you guys like it too, but here here it is again. But like modern, my my current style. And it's Deku. And he's they they even got like the mitt on his like cause he wrapped up the one hand that was all busted and he's going in for the punch. Dude, he looks so great. And then you see like and you see like Kurogiri and, and and Shigaraki. Ah Oh, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> that's so cool. I can't wait to see that. I wonder like I said this in a post on Twitter. I wonder the scene with like Todoroki saying, I, I want it to, I want to be a hero and like doing the activating the fire for the first time. I'm so curious if they will reanimate that scene or just play the season two scene part. I, I'm the reason I'm conflicted is like, you would think they would need to redraw it because of the different perspective of like, having Deku be there you have to like and you have to have Deku in that scene it's like blazing light that's like lighting up Deku if you remember that everyone remembers that scene but like you kind of need to re capture that moment in like the modern way with him being there but I guess maybe he could get away with it uh but right here like I there's no way they put season one visuals here right like they totally they're totally gonna reanimate this it's just just this brief moment with this perspective of that what they're showing. Anyway, uh, just ramblings of a lunatic. Sorry. Um. Whoa, whoa! And they're da- they're like about to smack, like like collide, and you see Deku shouting Shigaraki, and then uh, Shigaraki saying Midoriya, dude, and he's like, and he's like making a whole bunch of fingers appear around him, almost like it's almost kind of like Deku's, uh, like he had the black whips come out like of his back but he's got fingers coming out of his that's so cool he looks ah oh, dude crazy and boom delivers another punch does he send him no way wait does, did he even he did he even send banjo wasn't banjo supposed to stay with him i think he sent banjo too because you see like the black whip starting to like dissipate a little bit whoa okay so uh, Deku lands a punch again, right on Shigaraki's chest. Deku looking beast, by the way. He looks so cool. And on the left, you see shocked expressions from, uh, N, Yoichi, uh, well, Toshinori doesn't really have expressions really, but, um, he look, he, he's kind of busting veins a little bit, actually. He's doesn't have the mouth stuff, but he's, the eyes and stuff reveal an expression, actually. Banjo, Nana, and, uh, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You have N Yoichi, uh, Toshinori, Banjo, Nana Shimura, and then Bruce. Just Bruce. That's still great. Anyway, um, and then you see them much like um, Kudo did, where like he is like a big meteor. Oh, whoa! So it looks like when uh, Kudo went in, he like created an opening when he smacked through. And through that opening, the other vestiges are now going through as well. Uh oh no, 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 no. Only one got through. The others got bounced. That's why it's called rejection. 
See what happens when you read things, you figure it out along the way. That's why it's called rejection. So it looks like, and I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but they, like, one bean goes through, and then one, two, three, four, five, bounce back. Okay. And then, and then, like, and then in Deku's hand in his arm, you actually, like, see a visual of them bouncing back, too. This is, ah, this is gonna be so cool. Animated. Uh, and then, boom, you get, like, a recoil. Um, the transfer was rejected. Uh, but he still received some damage. Yeah, who got through? He rejected it. Having a strong Banjo's talking to Deku now. Um, he rejected it. Having a strong enough will to even steal us. I guess even that's possible. N was the only one who managed to break through. That explains the damage. N, shout out to N. Mr. Who Thinks His Quirk is Useless. He's the second to get through. Cool. Okay, well, looks like Deku is not quirkless quite yet. Uh, but that's... Ah, oh, wow. Deku looking tired, though. Um, that means he can't completely shut us out. Uh, I wish I could take advantage... Sorry, my, my eyesight's like... Like, I'm all, like, hazy right now. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, uh, that means he can't uh, completely shut us out I wish I could take advantage of those giant fingers but the two times the transfer worked I had to break through the fingers to punch him in the chest I can't transfer through the giant fingers they likely count as nails or dirt oh okay so it's like a not a not him shield um, which makes sense um, I'm glad they I'm like I'm glad to clarify that because I, like, I don't know, back when, back in there, like, Aizawa and, um, Monoma were trying to erase his powers or whatever, they, they can never had, I never explained that, like, if you saw his hand, if it would count as, like, erasing him, but now it's, they're never actually looking at his hand, they're actually looking at Shigaraki, because otherwise it would work, they just count, they just count as, like, I don't know, it's, it's strange, uh, and we see... What are we seeing here? Okay. I'm trying to, okay. I, I swear to God, if this, all right, hold up now, hold up now. Okay. What we're seeing here, we're seeing a young Tenko. The next memory we're seeing is a young Tenko walking holding an adult's hand just like walking i don't know where they're going is this oh my god i swear to god if this is confirming the theory people are gonna be so mad but like i'm i'm i like the theory personally because okay well let me just finish explaining um i gotta like look at this because it, it, it's a guy all in black which is the same as the, the person who dropped off Tenko at home and the person who approached Dobby. Oh my God. I think it is. I think that's what they're doing here. Holy shit. They're going to confirm that all for one gave Shigaraki decay. <laughs> I need to explain why I like that. I posted about this just a few days ago, actually. And the backlash was it would, people said it would ruin Shigaraki's story and I think that's completely not true because people were saying like if if all for one gave him the quirk then it would just it would just everything would just be all for one all along like and people say like that would just ruin everything I hate to break it to you it's always been all for one all along every every aspect of this story has been because of all for one so no him planting decay on Shigaraki would not like dramatically be like, oh no, it, dang it, it was all for one all along. It was always all for one all along. He was always the guy who, like, there would be no struggle between all for one and one for all if it wasn't for all for one. Like, I understand people hate all for one. I totally get it. I hate him too, but I also love him as a character. And 
it makes so much sense for so many reasons. And I, I really, I, I haven't, I, I haven't gone further. Maybe they show a little bit more here. I swear to God, if they just, if it ends with them like confirming it, I will lose my shit. But it looks like he's walking home with that, with that, with that guy. Or this could be after he finds him. Remember when he reaches his hand out to him and he walks him home? It could be that too. But I think at that point he's a lot dirtier and covered in blood and like messy, right? So uh, I don't know. Let's continue. There's some dialogue here. Urk, gah. I have to keep trying as much as it takes. I'm getting closer, Deku thinks. Uh, who's making these sound effects? Is this young Tenko? Ugh, gah. He sounds like he's sick. Is he sounding like that because, like, he suddenly doesn't feel good? Because someone just gave him a quirk? Hold on. I want it, like, oh my god. I, I, every fiber of my being is screaming that this is all for one. Walking, walking, like, whatever, whoever this person was. Bones didn't animate that scene. I, I knew it would come back. I knew it would come back into play. I posted about this too. I was ranting about it. Like I defended the, the NBA adaptation of my hero, but the one thing I was like, always oh, like, you know, it's gonna, it might come back into play. They didn't animate the scene, the brief scene where he gets brought home from school playing with his friends and he got in trouble for the first time. I, they'll, they'll show it now. They'll like, they'll probably show it in this flashback or whatever when they animate it. Like, Oh look, it was here all along. Like, Whatever. I'm not I'm not gonna back on bones right now. I'm just hmm. Okay. Continuing on. Whoa. Okay. Now we're getting This is a gigantic page. What is this? So we're getting <laughs> We're getting Deku kind of floating there. And he's facing off against Shigaraki, who's just amassing an armada of fingers. This is this is very um this looks a lot like the uh remember when it showed him sending Tenko down to his core to retreat and like rebuild itself and he was covered in all the hands and the faces and stuff. This looks exactly like that, but he's like obviously an adult Shigaraki and he's like wrapping himself up in a big cocoon. Uh he's on the complete defensive right now. Uh which is amazing because we all are, we're in awe of how unstoppable Shigaraki was, but here we are, like, Deku is delivering... We still haven't got clarification as to, like, what exactly it it's happening when they're sending these vestiges in there. Like, are, should we just now admit that we'll never see N and Kudo again, or are we going to see them down there, like, doing something, like a mission? Um, I, I don't know. Um... Uh, we see we see the impact, but we don't see like, you know. So that's a cool page. Uh, next we get what looks like a golden snitch from Harry Potter, like floating next to them. It's got a camera on it. Is this how the news networks are capturing the footage of this fight? Whoa! By the way, like how the hell do you, like when you're watching TV? What do you think when you see this? You see this little speck little green boy Deku, and then he just sees a big meatball amalgamation of fingers exploding in the air. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. That's a cool tech. That's a cool piece of tech, though. Like, this camera. Look, again, it looks like a golden snitch. I don't mean to keep referencing Harry Potter. Um, but, yeah, it looks like one. Uh, cutting back to the USJ. Okay. Uh, our satellite communication service was remotely hijacked by someone far, far away. No matter the crisis, UA still has its haters. On it, on it. Uh, so it looks like they're trying to like land the the UA building because it's like very close to the ground right now. And it makes sense. Like your the mission was to keep him up there in the cage. You're not gonna just keep flying around. You gotta land. Uh, you have Hatsume. Uh, I created this baby to let Midoriya Kun know I was working on his gloves. Oh, oh, it's, it's that gadget. It show, it even shows that, remember that sick scene? I'm, I'm just, I'm using the anime as a reference here where Deku and All Might are talking in the, the forest or whatever next to the school and All Might like turns around and freaking catches the ball like, like a ninja. That was so cool. It was that, that was the thing. That was the baby she was working on. Um, okay, cool. So we're seeing an action. I didn't, I did not put that together again. I'm, 
very tired. <laughs> um, but I had a, I had an emergency landing, so I added some new parts. Let me help you. Uh, oh, we're getting some gentle and cementos. Uh, let me help you, says gentle. Take care of the injured and let me know if someone is unable to walk, says cementos. It looks like they're. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, Cementos made like an escalator, like not like an actual working escalator, but like a staircase uh, to the whole of the, the ship. They're unloading everyone. That's cool. Ah, Gentle. Give it up for Gentle, by the way. What a fucking great job he did. Ah, oh, I was so happy for Gentle. I still am. Dude, his appearance and him, he saved like thousands. I don't know how many people were in this thing. At least a couple hundred like people working in this thing. Ah, uh, I'm so happy for him. That's so cool. Okay, so we're getting uh, Hatsume talking to La Brava. That's an interesting... By the way, their their eyes are both very, like, weird. Because uh, Hatsume has the crosshairs and La Brava has, like, the rings. It's just, like, a, a weird visual seeing them like that. Um, He's still my client, says Hatsume. So in order to offer an even better service, I have to keep an eye on him. And then uh, La Brava says, he's the boy who made... The man I love get arrested, turning him into a better person. Well, yeah, dude, like he was just out there improving everyone's lives. You know, that's what he does. That's what he do. Um, splashdown, baby. We got uh, the whole building kind of relatively gently into the water. Um, to the ground, emergency landing. Come help us. Uh, we're getting the uh, business kid. I, I can't remember his name. If they were, they, they, Horkoshi probably shared it. I feel bad for not remembering it. It's the the guy with the corn hair <laughs> in the business class. I have to keep rooting for him no matter what. It's live again. He's looking at his phone. Uh, wh what in the world is this? He's looking. Yeah, they're probably seeing the giant freaking finger meatball growing in the sky. I'd say, what the hell is this too? Um, evacuation center. They're showing the uh, UA, the main like uh, the camp campus or whatever no it's not the main campus the campus is the one that was in the the freaking sky or whatever anyway uh it's one of the evacuation centers yeah look uh what the hell they're all looking at the cameras it's a bunch of hands <laughs> yeah okay they're, i'm glad they're showing like everyone just like what the hell is this uh we're getting ectoplasm ah hey wait he shouts Arichan, he shouts She's running toward dot, dot, dot. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not ready for more potential theories on Rewind. Oh, God, I thought we were past that. That's going to get revived now. Oh, and there's a break next week. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two weeks of people wondering what Rewind is going to happen. Ah. Uh. Don't I, I say this sarcastically. I don't actually hate like the rewind theories. It's just like there's just infinite things you could apply it to. For the longest time, I thought that All Might was going to get rewound and he'd be able to fight again. Um, my God, if that happens here, I don't think it will. I, I'm not okay. No, stop it, mighty. Stop it. Not going down that train again. Um, first of all. Don't let a young girl run out to the battlefield. Cementos, or not Cementos, Ectoplasm, you better show your worth. Because you haven't done shit in a while, let's be honest. And keep her from running on the battlefield. Um, but Aerie clearly has that look in her eye like, I want to help Deku. Um, but no way in hell is someone going to let a little girl out there with those two titans throwing down. So... <laughs> What could she do? Man, this is actually a pretty good speculation. Because now, because before, people were speculating it and, like, Aria wasn't even in the story. She was just kind of, like, existing. But now Horikoshi is literally ending on a cliffhanger with her. Aria-chan, she's running off to do something. So, be be prepared. Things are going to get wild. Um... I'll have to be thinking about theories about this for a while. Um, and you know, you know what? Yeah, sure. She's going to go rewind All Might. And All Might's going to go out there and start throwing hands. And, uh, nah, I can't. I can't even throw my own weight behind that anymore. I moved on emotionally. I got my Nomu. I got my USJ Nomu appearance that I thought I would never get. I can't complain. 
Now, unfortunately, Deku's not fighting him or anything, but... Horikoshi heard me. Thank you, Horikoshi. You know I wanted USJ Nomu. The most iconic Nomu. I know people like Hood, but... I have a theory that, that USJ Nomu could beat Hood. Because his speed and uh, pure strength are superior. And he has regen, so I don't really know how Hood would fully kill him. They both have regen, technically. It'd, it'd be a very long fight. I think I just think that Hood would get bored and fly away. Anyway. <clears throat> great chapter. Uh, I need to like just think about this mysterious stranger that is walking with Shigaraki or Tenko. Um, people are going to be mad if it's true, but I'll be like, it just makes so much sense. I didn't come up with a theory. I want it to be clear. I'm not saying, oh, Mighty it came up with a theory. No, no, no. Other people came up with a theory. But very early on, I saw it and I was like, yeah, I agree with that. Like, that makes total sense. And it's also one of the longest lasting theories still out there. There's not many left for the series. But uh, this is definitely one of the most significant ones. Like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get to some sleep, but I'll get this uploaded. And uh, yeah. It's a good chapter. It's a really good chapter. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Um, again, sorry if I look tired and sound tired. I, didn't, I actually didn't sound too tired. My excitement powered through. Maybe that's the, the hysteria. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. And uh, yeah, until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.